Hey, dear fellows, this is Fu from Foxtech, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble a RTF Nimbus Vito from us. Okay, so let's introduce the Nimbus Vito a little bit. And actually, this is the modified version from original Nimbus, and we added two tilt motors, tilt two tilt servos, and one rear motor to make it a Vito. So basically, it is a tricopter Vito with a vectored yaw, with a vectored uh, front two motors and one rear motor. Once it is flying in, in the multicopter mode, with all three motors spinning, and once it is flying in the fixed wing mode, the tail motor stop uh, spinning and the, the two front motor will tilt forward just like a fixed wing. So in this way, this uh, Vito also help you uh, to get a very easy taking off and landing uh, within a very small area. Okay, we used um, the Picos 2 here as a flight controller and also the here GPS as its GPS and also the compass, uh, which brings a very reliable flight control and also the precision. And so uh, what's also included, uh, part from original, uh, airspeed sensor right here. So uh, it is necessary, it's essential for the automatic flying. And uh, you may notice that uh, every part, uh, simply every part, including the V-tail, including the wings from Nimbus, is quick detached. So what you have to do is to just plug on just like this. Let me show you. Um, the V-tails, there's no, actually uh, no plug on the tail because the tail servos is already built inside. Okay, just that simple. Well, um, okay, let's leave the nose uh, to the end. So I'm going to show you how to mount the wing and also you may notice here is a small plug, which is extra. Actually, this is for the tilting motor, the tilting motor, uh, which is not included in the original design. So we added um, actually a small hole right here, actually uh, covered with a 3D printed ring right here. So you can see the wire going in and this one plug for the tilting uh, servo going out. Uh, to mount the plane is quite simple, just like this. Yes, link the plug like this. And also the right wing. So it can be never simpler to mount a plane to actually since all the plugs and all the wires are going through the wings uh, with a quick detach plug there. Okay, everything is almost done. And leaving the nose here, uh, what you have to notice is you have to link the airspeed sensor. You see the wire plug right here. You must link the airspeed sensor before you power on the whole plane. Also, I want to tell you, actually, uh, for the radio control, we used a modified uh, FR Sky uh, X9D radio with the MFD link uh, right here. It is uh, based on the UHF frequency, and it can go like over 10 kilometers, which is a quite long control range for this one. Well. Okay, I use this battery to do an example. This is actually a 12,500 milliamp battery, and it is uh, actually not lipo battery, it's a lithium ion battery. Um, but I don't suggest you use this if you are not, not experienced with the Vito, because when you use lipo, you can feel this Vito. When it's doing the multi-copter work, it's very strong, it's very powerful. But when you use this battery, this battery is for the long, like a long flight time, it's not for very powerful output. So just to do a demonstration, you can easily put the battery inside the fuselage and 
Power it on. Radio on. Welcome to OpenTX. Power on. So. We also included a Bluetooth data link for you to communicate between the mission planner, between the ground station, and also the plane. And you can see the data link antennas here, and you, you can put it on, up, downward when you fly it. Um, okay, you can just use a US, USB cable just like this to link it with your computer, with your laptop, or you can directly link it with, your, uh, with the Bluetooth built inside. It's very convenient. And this one can work over five hours, so very convenient. And what's the last step is put everything inside. Just like this. Sorry. Also, we made a specially designed glass fiber cover uh, for the whole design because the uh, Pixar 2 is a little bit higher than the original flight controller. So the original cover doesn't work and I built this one. So you can just put it on and tighten it with two screws. It's very easy. Okay, so the whole plane is now in the Q stabilized mode and I the default mode are FBWA is a fixed wing uh, automatic uh, stabilized mode. The Q stabilized mode, you can notice the tilting up speed is very, very fast. I mean it because I wanted to uh, motors to tilt up until motors start running. If you face any uh, difficulties, uh, for example, the run setting, and when it's flying fixed wing, you can maybe you suddenly lose one side of the ladder. It can help you to save your plane. Okay, and uh, the last one is circle, and uh, the plane will go circle all the way by itself. So this is the three uh, initial modes I uh, input into this uh, flight controller, and you can always input uh, put in any uh, other modes if you want, including the automatic fly, uh, the cruise, and. Uh, a vital takeoff, vital landing, just like that. Uh, so many modes, and if you want to see more details, you can visit the Argo Pilot website for more details about the mission planner. Okay, about also about the firmware. So this is a basic introduction about Nimbus Vital RTF version coming from Foxtech. And uh, if you like this one, it can help you to fly FPV, can help you to do the survey, maybe 3D survey, and it can do so many jobs. And the price is not high. And if you like this one, you can directly find this one on foxtechfpv.com. And if you also like our product, YouTube channel, website, and also the Facebook, don't forget to subscribe us. Okay, thanks for watching. Just like always, have a nice day. Bye.